Okay, let's get back at it now. Let's get back at it. So anyway, uh, your class is either on Monday at 11 a.m., number 23, or Tuesday, 9 a.m., number 10, or Tuesday, 11 a.m., number 36, Wednesday, 9 a.m., number 14, Wednesday, 11 a.m., number 34, Thursday, 9 a.m., business number two. Okay, so the first group to get this video will be the Monday, 11 a.m., number 23. So this is the name of the chat room that I have set up. Now, this is how I understand how this works. Uh, this is my invite number, 010-9581-0249. You have to invite me. I'm not going to invite you. You are going to invite me and join your group. You have to know which day your class is and which time. And you're going to type in exactly this, this information exactly. Okay, so I'm also going to send an SMS, so be looking for this information on the SMS. I'm also going to send this information by way of band. So please check band, your LMS, SMS, and, or message, and then you've got this. Okay, let's see if we can make this work, because there's a very good chance that we're going to use Kakao Talk uh, to do the midterm. Not, I'm not entirely certain about that, but I'm pretty sure. Okay, so we talked about Skype. What about it? Well, we may do Skype too. So you need your Skype ID and Kakao Talk. Got it? All right. <laughs> there also might be Zoom. So we're just sort of trying to experiment to see which platform is the best for the situation that we're in right now. Okay, so mid-quarter course survey. So uh, I'm not getting a lot of feedback from y'all, and that's fine, because this is a brave new world. This is new territory that we're getting into. So you're going to go into your LMS in the LMS is a survey. So you go into the LMS. I'm going to show you a screenshot of my LMS and see if we can't get you to the proper link. But please fill it out. So you're going to fill out the survey. Uh, this will also be your homework for this week. The good news is there are only four questions. So you should be able to do it very fairly quickly. Okay? So now I'm going to show you the uh, screenshot now. So here's the screenshot. I'm sorry it's not bigger than it is. But uh, there's, this is my LMS. So when I open up my LMS, this is what I see. And I've got one of the classes here opened up. So, and, and here's the survey link down here. So it's third from the bottom of this column right here. One, two, three. Click that survey, go up here, uh, click this, and the survey will open up and you'll see the questions and you just answer the questions. It's pretty straightforward, I think. But please do it as quickly as you can so we can iron out any uh, bugs that might be in this system in this particular link. All right, so because there's a holiday happening this week on Wednesday, and we're supposed to take this week Wednesday off, okay, I don't know why, but that's the ruling. Um, it doesn't seem to matter because everything is taking place uh, by way of computer. 
and online. So, but I don't quite understand this, but this is, this is what we're doing. So here's a picture of uh, me and my wife and son, and we're on a boat. We're crossing the sea. We were on vacation. So it's like this is the holiday week, okay? And it's Wednesday that is the holiday. Okay. Now, what I want to do this week is try to make for a fun and vibrant and memorable uh, review. So we're reviewing the first three units of your textbook, except for the business class. In the business class, it's a little bit different, but in the conversation beginner, conversation intermediate classes, we're reviewing the first three units that we've covered. Okay, and the way we're going to do it today is we're going to do it uh, like the professionals do it, like the, uh, the actual game shows that are on television that are, are extremely popular. We're going to try to mimic or do it in a similar way uh, just to get warmed up and then we'll go back to straight question and answer sessions or sessions. So the name of the game show is Jeopardy and here's how Jeopardy works. Okay, it's really weird, but in this game show, the game show host who's been around for like 30 years doing the same uh, show, he gives the answer to the contestants. He doesn't ask a question, he gives the answer, and then the contestants ask the question. Okay, so it's like completely backwards. Normally, you ask a question, and then you give an answer. In this case, you give the answer, and then you ask a question. It's really kind of weird, but it works. It's an extremely successful game show. We're going to try it out a little bit to exercise your brain a little bit. It's always good to exercise your brain, I think, using a foreign language uh, because it can strengthen your, um, your muscle, your brain muscle, I suppose. So let me give you an example then. So there's... There's sort of what you see when you watch Jeopardy. Um, it starts like there's music, and then you see this, uh, these letters and the background. So, um, in Jeopardy, as I said, the game show host gives the answer, and the contestants ask the question. So. Let's try this. Uh, so, I'm the game show. I'm going to give you the answer. See if you can figure out what the question is. Uh-oh, I've got my mask on. <laughs> um, he is the current president of South Korea. So, I just gave you the answer. What would the question be, do you think? Think about that for a minute. What question would lead to the answer, he is the current president of South Korea. So that's the answer. What's the question? Any idea? I'll give you a hint. It starts with who? Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll ask the question. Who is President Moon? I don't know his given name. So, let's turn it around. Who is President Moon? Who is President Moon? Answer, he is the current president of South Korea. Okay, turning it back around again backwards. Uh, he is the current president of South Korea. Question, who is President Moon? That's how this game is played. Let's try a what question. Um, so... I'll give you the answer and see if you can figure out what the question is. Uh, it is the highest mountain in the world. So the question will start with what? What do you think? How about Everest? So what is Mount Everest? So quest answer, question. Now let's turn it back. 
to, to how it should be. What is Mount Everest? It is the highest mountain in the world. So, but we're not going to play the game this way because I think it's a little bit too confusing for this, for this um, environment that we're in, this learning environment that we're in. So, I want you to play this game and you are going to give your answers or include your answers in the assignments link. So open Jeopardy answers. Please do the best you can. Okay, so let's try that. Let's see if this, let's see if we can get this to work. I actually want you to, to answer the question. Forget about the question and answer. We're just going to do, so forget about the answer and question. We're just going to do the question and answer. And this is kind of like what you would see uh, watching this game show. So here's your assignments link. This is a good review anyway. Uh, open your LMS. You got, you got the column. You go to your assignment sheet. Excuse me. And you've got these, these homeworks. So this will be uh, homework number three, I believe, at the top. And it's the Jeopardy one. It should say that. Let me just check. It doesn't... Oh yeah, Jeopardy Answers, that's what it's called. So you click Jeopardy Answers and you add the answers to number one, through two, three, four, and five. So the first three students who get the answers right or an answer right uh, gets a bonus point for the class and or a prize. So... Let's begin this game. Now you wanna uh, get over to the assignments link as soon as possible to include your answers, okay? So let's do the first one. <laughs> what is the highest mountain in the world? What is the highest mountain in the world? Do you know what it is? Write your answer in the assignments link that I showed you under Jeopardy uh, answers. So that's uh, question number one. Question number two, that was an easy one. <laughs> Try this one now. Okay, this might be a little more challenging, I'm not sure. But this question is, what is the longest river in the world? Do you know what it is? Go to your aunt, go to the assignments link. Again, it should be open now. It's open, it open in another window. Write down your answer. By the way, by the way, going back to the first question, make sure that you're, you answer with complete sentences. So if there's an issue with spelling, grammar, punctuation, you will not, probably won't win or probably won't get a bonus point. It all depends, but do your best. Complete sentences. Okay, number three. Here it is. The question here is, what is the largest ocean in the world? What is the largest ocean in the world? Complete sentence. What's your answer? Number four. So, between Antarctica, North America, or Asia, Asia, which continent is the coldest? What's your answer? Complete sentence. And finally, number five. These are all, by the way, geography questions. What is the largest continent in the world? What is the largest continent in the world? So you need to know what a continent is. Get your answer in there and remember, complete sentence.
Okay, so uh, I'm going to pause here and then uh, the next video will involve the review of the units that we've covered so far.